The proclamation of Publoch Naharan, the provisional government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland. My name is Captain Kate Hanrahan. I'm a captain in the Irish Defence Forces. I've been in the Defence Forces now for 14 years and currently I'm serving in the military college in the Defence Forces Training Centre. I remember on day one, it was the 2nd of October 2000, my parents drove me up on the morning from County Mayo and I remember arriving into the square in the cadet school and everyone else was arriving at the same time. I remember being brought up to my room um, with eight other girls. Um, so it was a daunting experience but it was quite exciting at the same time. Well, what stood out for me most in the first couple of weeks in the cadet school was getting our uniforms and all our military equipment. I remember trying it on in stores, um, my helmet, getting our backpacks. We would have to wear this uniform to a high standard. So, and as well with our equipment, we'd have to maintain it to a very high standard. And we'd never seen this before, so it was extremely daunting, but memorable as well. Well, our class was known as the 77th cadet class and there was 26 members in our class. And it was a range of, we were mostly school leavers from all over the country and I was from County Mayo. So we gelled particularly well, especially with a, a small group and the same age. And especially the likes of physical training and our tactics out on the ground, it brought out the best in people and we really gelled together and helped each other out. Okay, scratch was one of the most physically demanding exercises of the cadetship. I remember it was the, at the start of our two-week section field assessment in the Glen of Amal. Um, you're pushed to your absolute limit. But again, as I said, everybody is in it and our class really gelled and you try your best to help each other out and get through this task. Come on, come on! All those personnel had enough and you can't take any more. Take a pace to the rear. Good. Scratch is over. Link, come on! Well, some of the key challenges to becoming um, an officer, we were started as a section commander and did assessment for this in the Glen of Amal, and then this brought us, off, us on to platoon. Um, assessment in Kilworth and Fort Davis and for these um, two exercises we would have a lot of support um, personnel with us and um, we were in a dig-in situation in tactics situation and again the scenarios would be that the enemy would come towards us and we'd have the Air Corps as well in this exercise so really all these exercises train you to be a junior leader in the Defence Forces. What I am most proud of in my career to date was reading the proclamation on Easter Sunday for the 1916 commemoration. It was an extremely proud moment for me. The President, the Taoiseach, the, all the general staff were there um, and it was an extre extremely poignant moment as well for the Defence Forces as a whole. The advice that I would give to young people in joining the Defence Forces is that if they are interested in a challenging career um, and if you're physically fit, if you enjoy the sports aspect, the outdoors, this is a career for you. The Army, the Naval Service and the Air Corps, they all offer rewarding and challenging career prospects.